welcome back to our Tack and Daughters. And today we're going to talk about a Christmas Eve present, even though you're seeing this roughly a month later. Um, that you could say would be the last Christmas present my wife uh, got me before she passed. Um, and you'll say, how, how's that when she passed away in September? Um, she had some hidden money for a Christmas present for me. <clears throat> so that was great. And we found it. So I went to the gun store and she would have went with me and she would have picked it out. Because that's the way, you know, because obviously she would want to shoot it too. Uh, she liked cowboy action guns because uh, she liked John Wayne. Uh, even though this is not a 1873 model, this is a H&R model 923, 22 long rifle, 9 round capacity cylinder. Um, or like some people like to say 9 shots, but it holds 9 rounds of 22 long rifle. It is nickeled. It was made in 1950. Uh, pretty good uh, figuring the age of this pistol, almost 35 years almost and uh, I believe it has a 7 inch barrel or I hadn't got the tape measure out and I don't have one handy to measure, measure it so we're going to call it 7 <laughs> anyway uh, it is a single action double action 22 long rifle pistol with target style grips and I believe this is their target model I know they made a 922 um, I know I've featured the 732 on here, and this one happens to be nickel plated. Um, and you can go onto their web, onto the Google there and look it up, and then you'll see right here that's the K. If it'll show it, yeah, there it is, the K on the serial number at the beginning, and that lets you know this gun was made in 1950. As you can see with the grips, it's kind of a target style. It's got a real wide butt and plastic. Um, from the 1950s, there's the H and R. This gun is in immaculate shape for as old as it is. Okay, we can see the model number there. The flash might be there. Okay, light. Let's see. Turn the light down so we can see it there. Better. Model number 923. So anyway, model 923. What does that say? H&R, Massachusetts. So anyway, it it loads, you can load it two ways, and it's unique, and I don't know which, neither of them seem safe to me, the way to load the thing. Well, one way does. So this is one way. It has a, it doesn't have a, lo a traditional loading gate. It has the, this style here. Now, if you cock it just a little bit, now, remember, this gun is unloaded. As you can see, there's the cylinder rotated around. It does have a fixed firing pin. This is before the age of transfer bars, so if you get it right to here, this far here, and let it go down, it may or may not fire. Because it is 22. That's cocked there, so it only cocks once. So, and I normally don't dry fire 22, but for this, it's so it might not go off. Anyway, so what I've decided was um, the way it looks to load it is that you take it and cock it just a little bit and the, and the cylinder will spin. You can spin it right there, lower the hammer down, put your round in, push it in all the way, turn it and do it that way. So that's the really slow way of loading this pistol. So you can do it that way. You got to do it nine times. And of course, you got to move the hammer back. Of course, with the hammer being moved back this far, just to operate to, to move the cylinder, it's no, there's no danger of it going off. So, I just don't like doing it that way. So the other way is you get this cylinder pin here, and you get this release. So you hit this release here, and you pull out the cylinder pin all the way. And this is how you unload it. So you pull the cylinder out of the gun. Now it'll come out both ways. So we'll load that pistol down right here. And then you'll see that's the nine shot cylinder. Now you can take the cylinder pin, stick it back in. As you can see, I shot it. Smack it that way. 
use it as an ejector and it'll eject your rounds out. So you could, in theory, load it this way. Go ahead after you knocked all your rounds out. You load it back up. Stick it back in here. Like so. Take your pin. You gotta line it back up. Like so. Then you gotta push your, your release lever here. So that'll let it go back in and then it'll lock in and then you can put a loaded cylinder in that way so uh, I've done it both ways um, I prefer to do it this way because I can just load it that way and that's probably how it's truly meant to be done other than that um, this pistol is Pistol is extremely fun to shoot. You'll see Rain's video of me shooting it at the end of this. Um, it's extremely accurate. It shoots better than I can see the front sight because it doesn't have target sights on the rear. Uh, it's got the front blade here pretty wide. Uh, I'll probably put a little bit of orange, dab of orange paint on there so I can see the front sight better. Uh, same way with that Phoenix Arms. So anyway fun gun to shoot uh, it was cost me a whole buck 25 probably one of the best Christmas gifts I got this year um, extremely fun to shoot extremely cheap to shoot even no 22 flaw so uh, as you know I've been dogging on the uh, Winchester Super X yellow box 22 long rifle um, in this firearm here, it's shot fine on single action, most of the time on double action, but out of the uh, 300 rounds I shot out of it, out of this gun, um, I had uh, probably 25 to 30 um, like primer strikes. Not from the gun. It's not from the gun. That's what I call it. So like, because it was on double action when I was triggering. Um, so in saying, in saying that, uh, like I said, 10% of the rounds I had to run back through the gun to fire a second time. Uh, and that's not because of the firearm, that's because of the Winchester ammo. Uh, so anyway, Victoria's ready to run the range footage as he is in charge of that. So take a look at the range footage. Please like, share, and subscribe to the video. We have a channel membership. Hit up on that. And remember, as always, cost nothing to be kind to one another, and we'll catch you next time. All right, so we're shooting some terrible yellow box Winchester Super X in our H&R 923 nine-shot revolver. And we'll see how many misfires we get from the ammo. We are shooting that seven yards. I know, slow, boring reload. So we're going to do double action. First, and then we'll do single action for this. Sorry, double action first.
now single action. Shooting this firearm fast will cause it to heat up really quickly. little hang up there due to ammo. And we got one that don't want to come out. So. Okay. It's a live cartridge that did not fire. Come on, Winchester. Want to work? For the range gods. All right. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.